think it's the same one. Yeah. Okay. That's the guy right there. We're following on the first cruise, Colorado Nationals, and they're driving the giveaway car. Check it. Goolsby Customs built it. One of a few thousand aero coupes, forged line wheels, Willwood disc brakes. You could win this car. It's a cream puff. I think Sadie just drove this out from Pleasanton. Yeah. With Texas plates. And all these characters are coming along for the ride. What's it? Home of the wind. All right. Wyotech, come along for the ride. You just happy to see me. Happy to see you. We made it to Wyotech. There's the leader, the Grand Poobah. Got the Aero Coupe in town, the old 55. Love this. Hey, look at this shirt. Hey. Nice. Good to see you, man. Yeah, Love the. Oh my God. How come you don't use look at you. Living the yeah. dream. Living the dream. I can tell how happy she Did is. Did you see how uh, I had to drive, though? <laughs> that was you? Yeah, because of his fault. Awesome. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I did okay. Autocross though, huh? is going to be fun tomorrow. Heck yeah, it is. <laughs> so awesome. No way. Why not? Tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. A little carbon action. I'll take it off. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but I have my scooter to keep myself off. Nice. What's under the hood? LS3 hot cam. Excellent. I should have brought my GT. Good luck, Erd, right? Hey, buddy, how are you? Hey, how's that new motor running? It's a running machine. Is it? Yeah. Hey, hey. hey, man, you're fine. Uh oh. Nice. Look at them all just like Skittles lined up. Hey guys, how are you? All right. The Wyotech crew. Oh, now we gotta pop the hood, seriously? All right. There's definitely some interest in the cars. And it's definitely good for my ego. A lot of commotion around the old station wagon for some reason. No, don't get, don't get out of the way. Don't get out of the way. I know why everybody's around the old wagon though. Maybe the tiny tiny supercharger on top. Yeah, it's only three liters. It's light work. Enjoy. Heading into Wyotech, Laramie chapter. Giddy up. We're, it's official. We're inside. Safety third. No glasses. We're living by the cowboy code. And of course, I've got on my... Uh, OSHA approved reefs. Shh, don't tell anyone. Thank you. My reefs, my flip flops, they're OSHA approved. So this is diesel. 
I'll wait for these guys to get Yeah, yeah. Alright, so this is our, our diesel program, the, the core diesel, uh, where they're going to do engines down here. Uh, they do more of the chassis and uh, drivetrains type here. here. Uh, electrical, it, actually electrical is up here. Fluids and powertrains is down that way. So uh, basically they'll go through all of the diesel stuff here. And then in the very back on that, uh, beyond that far wall, they do advanced diesel. Where basically they will bring in a customer, a customer's truck. We have some places that we work with they will completely tear down from engine. Uh, they'll look at the suspension, take that, take apart the brakes. They look at the whole truck, replace it, <coughs> and rebuild stuff, and then put it back together. But they need to take this first before we go to, into an advanced program. So, but as we, we can walk through here. This stuff is all brand new. Yeah, a lot of it is brand new. So all of these engines in here, they run on the stands. Uh, some of them, they are adjusting the valves and the, the brakes and so the engine brakes and so on. Yes, there, there's cat motors, there's uh, Detroit, yeah. <coughs> Right now, if, if I remember right, we're somewhere between about 800 and 850 students on campus. Oh, wow. I believe we'll be at over, when our next start is a big start, typically because when like uh, kids get out of uh, like high school, they like to have the summer off like they've had most of their life <laughs> before they come here and then, then they come back and we'll, we'll have about 1,200 students on campus at that time, roughly right in there. This is advanced. This is this is what? Advanced diesel. So like the diesel program, what's the time frame for a student? So the diesel program itself is six months, and then there's another. Uh, there's another uh, <coughs> twelve weeks uh, that they have to take so either like advanced diesel, basically an elective <laughs> program. So that could be advanced diesel. That could be motorsport chassis, that could be high performance. In. I'm gonna guess 10 to 12 percent is females oh, okay. now, which is a lot more than we used to have. Okay. It's not the critical counts on that. Oh, they're in the classroom. Typically, all of them are in the classroom. Oh. Refinishing area is on that side of that wall. And then this side right here is a collision area where they will literally, it, they'll start out, they'll the instructors will bang dents and do stuff in these cars. They got to fix them. We got to cut out panels and replace panels and so on. Uh, we've got frame straightening and, and so on that they have to go through. They have welding pumps that they have to go through. Uh, you know, and there's a lot of other things they have to know in the collision industry, like panel bonders and when to use that, and how to use their iPod stuff, and, and so on. So, is this what you teach? No. Oh. No, I, I'm I'm the assistant coordinator in specialties. Okay. So, which is all the like the high performance type stuff.
Thank you, sir. What is this? I'll wait till 1970 Chevelle SS with safety tubes. Everything's for sale if the price is right. I wish I'd sell that right now. Oh my God. Oh, from a 70 to a 66. Holy Moses and mag wheels. Oh, geez. He's saying this is one of the high performance, uh, love the wheels. This is one of the classes where the kids, they start learning the formulas, how to make power. What do you got to do? The parts to use, matching the components. They'll do the porting, <coughs> excuse me. They'll do porting and polishing and they learn the three annual valve job. They have to uh, take these engines completely apart. They measure everything, anything that needs replaced. They uh, will replace it, we rebuild it, whatever we have to do. They put it back together. They have to make it run just as good, if, if not better. They still have to go through carburetors in here. Uh, they'll go through the Hollies. They'll go through the Edelbrocks. They have to rebuild those. They have to put everything back on, make it run again. Uh, they do distributor stabs. We'll pull the distributors out, turn the engine over, and then here you go, make it run again, uh, which is kind of a lost art with some of this stuff these days, right? Uh, but a lot of customers still use stuff like this. So uh, my, my personal cars, I've got two four barrels on mine and a distributor. So it's like, that's normal stuff to me. So, but anyway, all of these engines, uh, we bought them, we put them on the run stands. They were all rebuilt in. Get a lot of stuff to work on here but you know a lot of the thing is is these guys even though they went through automotive or diesel they really haven't disassembled an engine completely measured all the stuff figured out what you're supposed to measure and then basically put everything back together again and make it run is this like another one of those this is an extra add -on. Add -on. Yeah. this is part of the classes that i've got uh, so, and then we have the dyno, which actually we're in the middle of taking the dyno apart because we had a bearing go down. So it's all ball bearings. <laughs> Big Daddy and Don Garland signed up lower belt. <laughs> Very cool. And this is our trim and upholstery. Trim and upholstery? Oh, thank you. All right. A little 
flame action. TMI, get rid of the blanket. <laughs> and what have we here? Right. There it is, Wyotech held to the highest standard. And I think that's it for our tour of Wyotech Laramie, Wyoming. Have fun here, Rudy, buddy. <laughs> Giddy up. Thanks for coming along for the ride.